Hello friends, it is me, Rhea Peterson. How's it going? Welcome back. Today I have a home refresh for you and I'm sharing what we are gonna be having for dinner. Plus we got a little something special from Amazon that I included as well. Um, I'm starting off in my bedroom though. If you know me, you know I love a good made bed, but I have a couple areas in my house that just really need some attention and then just overall making the house not be chaotic and messy. So that is my goal today. So. I'm going to get going on all of that, but if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rhea Peterson. I upload multiple times a week on like cleaning, organizing, food, mom life, all sorts of stuff. So if you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing, but otherwise let's get going. All right, well, we are starting in the downstairs bathroom. This one was neglected the most over the last few weeks. The upstairs ones I've been staying on top of a little bit more. I've done some more deep cleaning in there, but this one just kind of has gone to the wayside and it does get the most traffic. So I'm actually not surprised that it looks like this, but also gross. So I'm using just my Clorox toilet wand. I actually do really like this. I was really skeptical, but it is just really handy to have around. So I just scrubbed it. I'm going to let the solution sit for a little bit while I wipe down everything else with a vinegar and water solution. It's just 50, 50 vinegar and water and a microfiber cloth. I'm trying to get every last corner of that toilet just because I have three children and it can get really gross. Um, but I'm gonna get everything all wiped down and cleaned up and then move back upstairs and work on the bathrooms up there. love that scrubber. It's a Rubbermaid scrubber. I got it on Amazon ages ago and it is awesome. I will link all the products that I'm using today that I can in the description box below and that scrubber will be in there. This thing rocks. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can't be. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that. Oh, his smile is killing me. It's the way that he moves and the way that I laugh, so I can't get enough. I'm thinking about him all the time. I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. I say yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him now, 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 now. I just say yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts. I told him I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Yeah, it looks so much better in there and it did not take very long which is nice and i don't know if you noticed uh, there's a passive diffuser that sits on the counter in there i don't have one that you put water in in that bathroom i like the passive one it's really convenient and because it's such a small space it just makes more sense to have the passive diffuser and i'll link all the plant fit therapy stuff that i'm using as well i'm not an affiliate i just really love plant therapy and i realized i used a couple of their products in this video so i'm going to link them all they're all just 
I really love plant therapy. I think it's really affordable and they're really good products in my opinion. But and now I am in my kid's bathroom. This one gets cleaned the most often and gets the messiest because of bath time and everything. And they brush their teeth almost exclusively in here. So I have to spend a lot of extra time on the glass, but I'm using the same stuff up here that I did downstairs. And now my adorable little assistant is here to help me. That's Miss Alice. She needed her hair fixed and then she wanted to help me clean the bathroom. So how could I say no to that? If you want. Oh, 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 oh. I wanna sing yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna na, 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 na. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I'm, you're gonna see me pull all the towels. You're not gonna see me put any new ones up. I do put clean towels up. I just didn't because they were getting cleaned. But now I'm in my master bathroom. I'm putting all my glasses away. I have a lot of pairs of glasses, which is funny because I rarely ever wear them in my videos. <laughs> but I get all my glasses through Zenny. They're really, really affordable. Again, I'm not sponsored. I'm not an affiliate. I just really love Zenny. So if you want fun, glasses that are not crazy expensive and you don't have to like go somewhere to get fit for them. Zenny's a really good option. And I was able to get my husband and I were Bob and Linda from Bob's Burgers for Halloween last year. And I was able to get red linded glasses from them for like nothing. It was awesome. And I still have them and I do wear them occasionally. So there you go. That's my little plug. Maybe someday they'll sponsor me but now I'm just getting my bathroom cleaned up I'm not cleaning in the shower I do spray it but I realized I didn't get any footage of me spraying it I use a Clorox bleach spray for it I'll link it in the description I've used it in previous videos it's really handy but I do make sure that like the vinegar spray has like dissipated a bit before I spray it or vice versa and I always crack a window just because you don't want to be too careful and I typically make sure that my kids aren't around because it is bleach and it, it's smelly, like it's a strong smell. You do get to see me wipe out my bathtub though, which is something like you never see me do, but I am currently training for a marathon and I've been crazy sore. So I've been doing more Epsom salt baths. And so I figured, I should probably keep my bathtub cleaner and my kids have been using it more too. That's the thing. Like I love a good bathtub session, but also it's just a lot to clean. So if I didn't have a bathtub, I'd probably be fine. Like I'd be fine with just having a shower forever. Are you a bath person or a shower person or both? Because I feel like, like I said, I could be fine without having any type of bathtub.
bathrooms are clean, which is awesome, but you might be thinking, Rhea, you didn't mop the downstairs bathroom, and you're absolutely right. I didn't mop the downstairs bathroom, and spoiler alert, I don't mop the bathroom <laughs> downstairs or the floors downstairs at all. I had already done it like a few days before, and I just couldn't do it again. So sorry if that's like what you've been waiting for or you're very like, no, it's open-ended now. The floors are somewhat clean, um, but now I am vacuuming. And then this is a monster away spray. I used to have diffusers in my kids, well, in my boys room, but they kept knocking it over and it was driving me nuts. And so I found this, it's just a nice smelling spray. It's got calming things like chamomile and lavender and it's all kid safe and kid friendly. And I've been spraying their beds and it also has been really like helpful because it's the monster away spray. So they'll be like, mom, you have to spray our beds with the monster away. And we do, and it actually has made bedtime a lot easier. So I'll link it, but I'm getting everything vacuumed and sprayed. It's all clean and amazing. It is, it, it, I love how, no matter like how dusty or gross things might actually be, if you vacuum and you get those nice lines, your house looks a lot cleaner. So I'm doing all those other things mostly today, but still just, just something about vacuuming that is just so satisfying. Okay, well, I got Miss Alice set up to do some watercolor by the time we got downstairs and I'm going to get dinner going. We are going to do a salsa verde pulled pork. I think I might have done this one before in a previous video, but I don't remember, but it was what we were having for dinner and I figure I'd share, especially if you're new here. And if you are, hey, what's up? So I am going to get the onion diced up and everything. This one was really easy. It's just a pork tenderloin, onion and garlic, salt and pepper. I threw some cumin in there or cumin. I don't know the right way to say it. I don't think, um, but then salsa verde, super quick, super easy. And once we got it going, it was able to just cook, which is typically how a crock pot works now that I'm saying that out loud, but it was really easy and delicious. We're going to have tacos. I love tacos. I've talked about it before. Tacos are incredible. So I'm going to get that going. And then we are going to move on to our exciting delivery from Amazon. had to share it was just so cute I saw that Nintendo like that Oreo had done Mario Oreos and I immediately jumped on Amazon because my store didn't have them <laughs> and I ordered like four packages might sound excessive they weren't crazy expensive I'll link them but 
they were just so fun. And if you know me, like personally, you know that I have kind of an obsession with Oreos. So this was very exciting. I'm currently cutting back on gluten though, and they don't make gluten-free Mario Oreos, which, hey, Nabisco, what the heck? But, oh well, it's fine. My kids are really enjoying them. And I may have had one just to make sure they weren't poison. Okay, well the dishwasher is unloaded and reloaded and I did make sure that I rinsed out my filter in my dishwasher. I really try to stay on top of that so that it doesn't get crazy gross. And I have been leaning into the chia seeds lately and it is always interesting now when I pull those out or when I pull the filter out because it usually has some rogue chia seeds in it and they've like absorbed water. It's very unsettling the first time, but once you put it all together, you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But it's weird to find a chia seed stuck to your dishwasher filter, but I'm just going to get Callum's watercolor water changed out, finish up washing the dishes, and then I'm going to give the sink a good scrub. We're all done with watercolor and they actually did a really good job cleaning up most of it. I'm just kind of finishing up the last little bits of it, but I'm going to get sorted through their stuff and I'm going to hang up their artwork in the new little station I made in the pantry a few videos ago, actually. Um, and it's time to swap out all of their artwork, which is exciting. It's fun to have the watercolor. They've been coloring a lot of coloring pages, so this will be a new thing to have in there. Everything is all right.
Well, now the kitchen is all cleaned up, which feels really good. And just so you know, I wiped everything down in the kitchen with the Thieves cleaner. I'm actually really liking that stuff. It's really nice. But Hugo is taking all of the books back upstairs where they're supposed to be. And I'm getting the blanket folded up. I'm going to get the living room tidied up and realized I needed to vacuum the couch because they had had popcorn on there. So I figured I would just lean into it and vacuum the whole thing. Aside from under the cushions, we're just going to pretend that that part of the couch doesn't exist. That is humbling. I should do that more often. <laughs> but now I'm just getting the pillows all put together. I'm gonna vacuum up the floors and get the diffusers going and we are almost done. Love this pink lemonade blend it's really good but otherwise that is pretty much everything we are going to check in with our pork tacos here in a minute but otherwise everything is clean it feels great to have it all nice and refreshed for the week I really hope that you got some good motivation out of this video and that you got some good ideas maybe, but otherwise, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you're not already, please consider liking and subscribing. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.